What if I told you you could get really pin sharp stars, nighttime photos from an old iPhone that doesn't have night mode? Coming up. G'day guys, Shane Mostyn here. If you're new to the channel, I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography, usually mobile phone cameras, usually in the dark. So if you want to learn how to do that sort of thing and take epic photos like this, subscribe to the channel and you'll see the two videos I do each and every week. Today what we're doing is capturing stars, well, like a pixel, lots of little photos stacked on top of each other, all in the camera, all with one push of a button. It's bloody epic, it's really impressive. So let's get into it. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need a phone holder, you're going to need a tripod because when this thing is taking the photo, it's taking literally hundreds of photos, stacking them all together, lining them all up and giving you pin sharp photos with virtually no noise on an iPhone. You're also gonna need an app. The app's called Nocturne by Interstellar. It's free, but it's gonna leave a little watermark on your uh, photo there, but it does an amazing job. I tried this on the 13, on the 12, and it just works really, really well. It works as good as their night modes. Actually, it works probably better than their night modes because you don't have all the artifacting that you get, which is generally there on a nighttime photo with the iPhone. What we're trying here today is with the iPhone X. I've put it onto this phone. Let's see how it works. So we'll put this phone into the tripod, tighten that up. So we'll sit it there. This isn't a galactic core shot, by the way. This is just a regular um, starry night photo that you might get, well, when the core's not there. But it's set up now, and you can see there, there's no control to change. There's nothing to change at all. It's just a button. That's it. It's now taking, it's working out how long it needs and it's going to take photos for 2 minutes and 57 seconds. And it's going to take a photo probably every 2 seconds, 1 second long. It's bloody cool. We'll just wait now. While we're waiting for that, um, this actually wasn't my find. It was someone who contacted me on Instagram and I can't find the bloody message now. I'm really sorry whoever that was and said to try out this app because you've hit the nail on the head. It's a perfect app for somebody with a previous generation iPhone. <clears throat> I get probably 20 messages a day on my Instagram account and, and I try to get to them, I just can't get to all of them. And I'm really disappointed with myself that I've lost whoever that was. So thank you, whoever it was. You've uh, helped out the community here a great deal. Before I found this app, before you showed me this app, uh, I would be telling people use Nightcap app. Nightcap app is a paid app. It's like four or five bucks, I think it is. Not that much, and it does more than what this one does. But it's not as simple and straightforward and easy to use as what this is, because on this, there's just one button. That's it. There's nothing else to do. It's nearly finished. We'll wait for it to finish, and I'll show you what it looks like. That took uh, two minutes and, well, nearly three minutes. And the image, well, I'll tell you what, it looks... It looks just like anything that you get out of a pixel. That's bloody amazing. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, as far as any editing on this goes, I really don't think it needs anything because it's got virtually no noise. It just works really well. Uh, I'll put this photo on the uh, website, phonephotoschool.com.au. Have a look over there in the review section and I'll put the, uh, what's it called, Nocturne Interstellar in there uh, as a review, and you can see there, you can download the photo. The pluses and minuses of this app, well, one, um, the plus is that it's free, and two, it's just easy to use. There's nothing for you to do. You just push the button. It does everything. It does the focusing, does the stacking, does your lighting, does everything. The negatives of this is it leaves a, a watermark there. Um, does it matter? I'm gonna say no because you've got it for free. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later.